In this video I'm going to talk about what to do when you keep getting sick during your adaptations to a polyphasic schedule and you just get in this bad loop of getting sick, recovering, attempting a new schedule, getting sick again, recovering and so on and so on. This video is a follow-up video to the one about what to do when you get sick on a polyphasic adaptation and if you haven't watched this video I suggest you do it before watching this one so you have the background of how to handle sicknesses on a polyphasic schedule. The link to that video will be in the description. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower and I'm one of the main authors of polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. So what do you need to do when you are getting sick during your adaptations, then you're recovering all the sleep debt, uh, becoming healthy again, uh, falling sick, recovering, sick, recovery and so on and so on. Uh, specifically that what you want to do in order to avoid this is you want to boost your immune system, okay? You want to boost your immune system because it helps your adaptation, because your adaptation is naturally going to degrade your immune system. So if it's higher than it, what it was before and your adaptation is taking it lower, it's still going to be better hopefully than what it was previously, you know? Make use of that, boost your immune system, and that's exactly what we're going to talk about doing in this video. So as I said, the thing is, sleep deprivation reduces the uh, power of your immune system. So to combat this, we want to practice a more healthy lifestyle so that you're able to keep your immune system strong enough to withstand the bacterial attacks and infections, even when its function is already decreased from sleep deprivation. You do this by eating healthier and by exercising more. What you need to do specifically is eat healthier when you've recovered your sleep debt. You need to be eating more vegetables, more fruits, and you need to be ensuring that you get all the minerals and nutrients that you need. Uh, you also want to avoid eating these bad things like sugar or unhealthy foods. Eating healthier is going to boost your immune system for sure. Let's talk about your exercising habits a bit. If you exercise more, it's going to boost your immune system. So the important things to do here is cardiovascular exercising uh, habits or practices. Uh, you want to be running, swimming, something that's going to get your heart rate to increase, your heart rate variation to increase more, and improved circulation for oxygen in your body, all these things, more white blood cells, you know, Cardiovascular exercises is the way to go. Strength doesn't help you too much in this regard, but instead focus on activities that allow you to sprint longer or hold your breath longer, these things. But there's also another thing that's going to decrease your function of your immune system, and that's stress. I know the main purpose why many polyphasic sleepers sleep this way uh, is so that they're going to be able to get more work done which also reduces their stress. Uh, but if you're stuck in a loop of falling sick and recovering and falling sick again, before you start an adaptation, you really need to decrease your stress levels, okay? Some concrete things you can do is to outsource your work. You know, if your house needs to be cleaned, consider hiring a maid instead of cleaning it yourself so that you get more me time, you get more time to relax. Uh, reduce your stress levels by, you know, meditating or just doing things that you want that aren't specifically work-related, like hobbies and all these things. If you're, if you, if you need to to buy a lot of food, consider having them delivered to your house instead, so you don't need to spend the time to go shopping and then go back again all the travel time. Also, try to, if you have a boss, try to persuade him or her to do work from home instead. You know. Uh, minimize the travel time, try to work more efficiently instead, so that you have more time to relax also. As I already said, you could do things like meditating in order to reduce your stress levels. You know, just try it out once and see if it works for you. Um, in order to decrease your stress levels more, you could also do some self-care activities, like, you know, chillax for a bit. This is going to help your immune system remain strong, and will hopefully avoid making you fall sick during your next adaptation. So now you have a few things that you need in order to strengthen your immune system. Um, 
you want to avoid having a weak immune system by eating unhealthy, by not exercising and being stressed. And you want to improve all those things before you start your next polyphasic adaptation, which is also going to naturally reduce the power of your immune system. Hopefully by improving these things, you won't get stuck in this perpetual cycle of oversleeping and recovering. Okay, so you want to eat healthier, exercise more and stress less. Now I'm going to talk about something else that you're going to want to do before your next adaptation and also during your adaptation in order to make sure that you're uh, not getting as sick as when you have before. You want to avoid touching your face or your mouth too much with your hands. See, the most common way to fall sick is actually touching your face or mouth uh, because the many bacteria travel through your skin, through the pores or through the mouth into your body from your hands. Um, so it's an easy way to avoid getting sick as often as before. Wash your hands more, wash your face more, uh, try to minimize the contact as much as possible and that's really going to be helping you. So you want to improve your diet, improve your exercising style with more cardiovascular exercising, decrease your stress levels and stop touching your face as much as you are doing now. You can also look for the in on the internet for more things to do in order to improve your immune system, but these would be the four main ones that I want you to at least focus on. So what I want to, for you to gather from this video is to boost your immune system before your next polyphasic adaptation attempt. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any more questions, please leave them below and remember to like this video. Okay, I'll be seeing you in the next one and hopefully you manage to adapt to a schedule without falling sick again. Remember to have pleasant naps people.